The way that we handle GeoData right now is on a per tweet basis. We used to do it on a per user basis, and that's a, that's a trivial problem because we just store it, like we have our, our MySQL database with all our users in it. We just sort of attach a location to a, to a user that's just another column in the data field. That's easy. But scaling Twitter has, is, of course, a hard problem. And then scaling GeoData on top of that is a extra different hard. and hard, <laughs> an extra hard problem. Mainly because when we first launched all our geo stuff, we did geo tagging. So you can attach a pair, of, a latitude longitude pair to a tweet. That is, again is relatively straightforward, right? Like that's another column that we're starting to need to store along, or uh, two columns they want to store along with a status object. But when we started doing attaching names to to tweets, we need to create a whole lookup service that goes along with it. So we basically need to build our own reverse geocoder that can handle tweet speed, like the speed at which Twitter is is running, so we both implicitly tag tweets. So tweets that just send us latitude longitudes, we want to be able to convert on the fly, and we need to be able to handle that at the speed at which they're coming in. So you get a, you know, we get our certain number of seconds, we'll be able to handle that QPS coming through the system, but we also need to handle applications looking up places that then users want to, to take in. We're trying to build this database in such a way that while we'd like you to use it as part of tweeting, you right. could use it in any way, right? We've made an unauthenticated call to our system that has a few rate limits around it, but grab our data, use it in whatever way you feel like it. We built up something called, uh, that we call RockDove. Right. Uh, it's a type of homing pigeon. Uh, and RockDove handles all our lookup services right now. So you can hand, it has a whole bunch of uh, RPC interfaces that we expose over Thrift internally uh, that does things like give us a latitude longitude, we'll return you all the places that's within, so neighborhood, city, state, et cetera, et cetera. Give us, uh, give me a, give me an ID, return I, give uh, information, give an IP address, and do a GOIP lookup and return all this stuff. Right. So we're starting to build. A, it also has, uh, you know, all your CRUD operations for places like your create. Right. So we, Rockdove is, is a set of services inside the Twitter uh, infrastructure that then everyone uses it. The front end stack uses it for when people are tweeting. The API uses it for when people are querying against it. Search uses it so when people ask for, give me all the tweets in San Francisco, it needs to resolve what San Francisco actually means. Uh, our research and analytics team uses it as part of their big Hadoop jobs and they bash against it to provide normalized data. So the exact same stuff that we use internally, we expose externally. Twitter has always been a platform in some way, right? So Twitter.com is this particular vertical of right. what Twitter can look like. And as part of the platform team, we're trying to build that infrastructure so that people can make a variety of different uh, experiences on top of it. So yeah, today, if you were to build something like the Foursquare or something like the Gowalla, building on top of us is fine. Like we're, we're trying to build a system so that you can do that, um, perhaps for ourselves, but more so so the ecosystem can do it. I think the way we sort of treat it as is Twitter is a way to amplify your voice. So okay. like be able to broadcast really loudly into the world uh, something that either was created by or destined for people. Um, and a check-in or talking about location is just one of those things we want to be able to amplify. And we just needed a good way to have good metadata attached with it, which is location. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, my pleasure. This was fun. Great. Thanks. Yeah.